Another big story we're following this afternoon. The investigation continues into that massive fire that killed three Baltimore firefighters. Yeah, we are hearing more from the people who loved and respected all of them. And Abba Joy Burnett live back on the scene for us this afternoon with more information on a new title now, Abba Joy, for one of those fallen heroes. Rick and Nicole, earlier today we learned that firefighter Kelsey Sadler has been posthumously promoted to Lieutenant Kelsey Sadler. Of course, this tragic situation from earlier this week where three firefighters died in the line of duty has really gripped our region. So many people are trying to find a way to honor them, and we can tell you that the family members are feeling that love and support. As our region grieves for three firefighters who died in the line of duty, the people who are feeling it the most are their family members. Oh yeah, always, always happy, always smiling, always. Um, it's just unbelievable. It doesn't matter. I mean, what type of situation he is in. Smiling always. Jose Antonio Lacayo is firefighter Kenny Lacayo's dad. This is what he saw Wednesday night as his son's body was transferred to the funeral home. It, it, it was really, it was really nice. It was something that is uh, I, a privilege. One of the reasons I said a privilege because I get to write his the truck he was in on on. on or he used to use on rescue squad mm -hmm. on waiting. And I write I, I was writing the seat he used to use. Oh. So to me it, it was a privilege that it just <laughs> it just <laughs> overwhelming. In nearly everything they do, local first responders are trying to remember the fallen firefighters. Baltimore's police union honored them in D.C. last night at a Caps game. And surrounding counties have sent resources to Baltimore, like structural engineers, to help stabilize what's left of 205 South Stricker Street so that the investigation can move forward. Thursday, we learned that firefighter Kelsey Sadler was an acting lieutenant that morning when the building collapsed, ultimately killing her, along with firefighters. Lucayo and Lieutenant Paul Buttram. Today, she was posthumously promoted to lieutenant just one day after citizens and firefighters lined the streets. Chopper 13 captured the moments as all three of their bodies were transferred to funeral homes. It was great to see the city kind of coming out in support of the families, which is really what it's about now to support the families of fallen firefighters. At this point, we are still waiting to get additional details and any funeral arrangements. As soon as we hear those details, we will share it with you. Live tonight on South Stricker Street, Avajoy Burnett for WJC. Avajoy, thank you. As the Baltimore City Fire Department and, of course, those families of the fallen heroes continue to grieve, there's ways to help. You can donate by visiting this, the site that you see there on your screen. There's a link also on our website. And, of course, this story continues to develop. The moment we learn something new, we'll be sure to pass it along. You can also find updates anytime on WJZ.com and CBS News Baltimore.